For the head, we'll start with our white yarn and a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. And you'll begin with a magic circle. So wrap the yarn around your fingers, bring up your loop and chain one to secure your yarn. And then you'll do six single crochet into that magic circle. There's two, three, four, five, and six. And then just grab that tail and give it a pull to close up your hole and place your stitch marker. And at this point, you should have six stitches. For round two, we're going to do one increase in each stitch. So go into that first stitch and do one single crochet. Go back into the same stitch and do another single crochet. And that is your increase. And so now you'll just increase in each stitch all the way around. And once you come to the end of this round, you should have 12 stitches. For round three, you'll do a repeating sequence of one increase, followed by one single crochet. And continue to repeat that all the way around. One increase, one single crochet, and once you come to the end of this round, you should have 18 stitches. For round four, a repeating sequence will be one increase, followed by two single crochet. One, two. Continue to repeat one increase and two single crochet. And at the end of this round, you should end up with 24 stitches. For round five, your repeating sequence will be one increase, followed by three single crochet. There's one, two, and three. Continue to repeat one increase and three single crochet. And at the end of this round, you should end up with 30 stitches. Before moving on, now's a good time to go ahead and weave in that beginning tail and just cut off the excess yarn. And for rounds six through 15, we're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And once you come to the end of round 15, you should still have 30 stitches. For round 16, we're going to be working in the back loop only. So instead of going through the stitch, you're going to come in from the top and just catch that back loop. And you're going to do that for all of the stitches. And our repeating sequence for this round will be one increase. followed by two single crochet. So go into the back loop only and do our two single crochet. So continue working back loop only and repeat one increase and two single crochet all the way around and you should end up with 40 stitches. For round 17, you're going to do a repeating sequence of one increase, followed by four single crochet. There's one, two, three, four. And so you'll continue to repeat one increase and four single crochet. And at the end of this round, you should have 48 stitches. For round 18, your repeating sequence will be one increase, followed by five single crochet. One, two, three, four, five. 
So continue to repeat one increase and five single crochet. And at the end of this round, you should end up with 56 stitches. Round 19, your repeating sequence will be one increase, followed by six single crochet, one, two, three, four, five, six. So continue to repeat one increase and six single crochet all the way to the end of the round and you should end up with 64 stitches. For rounds 20 through 30, you're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And once you come to the end of round 30, you should still have 64 stitches. For round 31, we'll be doing a repeating sequence of one decrease followed by six single crochet. And to do the decrease, you go into the stitch, bring up your loop, go to the next stitch, bring up the loop, grab your yarn, and pull through all three of the loops. And that is how you do the decrease. And now we'll do six single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you're gonna to continue to repeat one decrease and six single crochet. And at the end of this round, you should end up with 56 stitches. For round 32, you're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And when you get to the end of this round, you should still have 56 stitches. For round 33, we'll be doing a repeating sequence of one decrease, followed by five single crochet. There's one, two, three, four, and five. So continue to repeat one decrease and five single crochet all the way to the end of the round and you should end up with 48 stitches. Before moving on we need to start shaping our topper. So we're going to take this part and push it in but we're not going completely inside out. We're only pushing in this part which will create the space for it to sit on the post and so you're just going to fold where you did your back loops only and that will be the line you'll follow when you fold this in on itself and so when you put it on the post this is where it'll slide onto the post and then as you're stuffing this you want to make sure you don't push that back out. So you want to take your stuffing and put it around. Just put it around that piece that we just pushed through. And there we go, we're starting to get the shape of our topper. So as you add more stuffing, just make sure you're going around this piece right here. And that way this part will hold its shape for sitting it on the post. For round 34, we're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And once you've come to the end of this round, you should still have 48 stitches. For round 35, we'll do a repeating sequence of one decrease, 
followed by four single crochet. And there's one, two, three, and four. And so you'll continue to repeat one decrease and four single crochet all the way to the end of the round and you should end up with 40 stitches. For round 36, our repeating sequence will be one decrease, followed by eight single crochet. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And now you'll just continue to repeat one decrease and eight single crochet. And at the end of this round, you should have 36 stitches. For round 37, your repeating sequence will be one decrease, followed by four single crochet. There's one, two, three, four. And so now you'll just continue repeating one decrease and four single crochet. And at the end of this round, you should have 30 stitches. Before beginning round 38, go ahead and add more stuffing, making sure that you're not pushing that center part out. You wanna keep it to where it kind of retains its shape. And for round 38, our repeating sequence will be one decrease, followed by three single crochet. There's one, two, and three. And so you'll continue to repeat one decrease and three single crochet. And at the end of this round, you should end up with 24 stitches. For round 39, our repeating sequence will be one decrease, followed by two single crochet. There's one and two. And you'll continue to repeat one decrease and two single crochet all the way around. And at the end of this round, you should have 18 stitches. For round 40, our repeating sequence will be one decrease, followed by one single crochet. And so you'll just continue to do one decrease and one single crochet, repeating that all the way around, and you should end up with 12 stitches. Before beginning round 41, go ahead and put in the last of the stuffing needed. And in this round, we're going to be closing up this hole. So I've removed my stitch marker, and now you're just going to decrease all the way around and continue to decrease until this hole is all closed up. And I think it takes about five or six of them. So just continue to work around doing decreases until you get to the point where you can't really squeeze your hook in there for the decrease. I can get one more. And then once it's almost all the way closed, you can take your hook, go into the next stitch and just run it across, grab the yarn and do a slip stitch. And then move to the next stitch. Do the same thing again. 
Just run it across, grab the yarn and do a slip stitch. And then you can tie off. And when you cut your yarn, give it a long tail because then we're going to use this tail to secure that inner part so it doesn't pop back out. Before we do that, I'm gonna take my yarn and go under some of the stitches. I'm gonna flatten out this top piece just a little bit. That looks good. And I'm gonna go under a couple of the stitches just to secure it. And then I'm gonna take my needle and I'm gonna poke it through and come out on the inside. So we're going through that piece that we poked through. Now we don't wanna pull it tight because we don't wanna cause a dent. We just want to kind of secure this a little bit in place. So once I've pulled that through, I'm gonna to move to another stitch and then come back out through the top. And I'm gonna do that a couple of times. So I'm gonna to move to this next stitch and poke it through. Making sure I'm not pulling it down. You don't want to pull too, too tight. And then I'll just come back up through one last time. And then we'll just tie off, tie a knot. So just go under one of the stitches. And before you pull that all the way through, run your yarn needle through that loop give it a pull and that will tie your knot and then you just run your yarn needle through the stuffing part making sure you're not actually going all the way through and that will hide the tail and there we go we have finished the head and so now this piece, since we went ahead and tacked it to the top here, it should not come out. It should stay in place. And now we're ready to do the muzzle. For the ears, we'll be using the black yarn and continuing with our 3.5 millimeter hook. And you'll start with a magic circle and chain one to secure. And for round one, you're going to do six single crochet into that magic circle. There's two, three, four, five, six. And now just grab the tail and pull. That closes up your hole and place your stitch marker. And at this point, you should have six stitches. For round two, you're going to do one increase in each stitch all the way around. And once you come to the end of this round, you should have a total of 12 stitches. For round three, you'll be doing a repeating sequence of one single crochet followed by one increase. So one single crochet, one increase, one single crochet, one increase. Continue to repeat one single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have 18 stitches. For round four, your repeating sequence will be two single crochet and one increase. There's one, two, increase, 
And so continue to repeat two single crochet and one increase. And once you come to the end of this round, you should have a total of 24 stitches. For rounds five through seven, you're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And once you come to the end of round seven, you should still have 24 stitches. And here I've come to the end of round seven. Make sure before you move on that you weave in that beginning tail. And now you can remove that stitch marker. We're gonna take the ear and fold it flat. And then you'll just take your hook and you're going to single crochet through the stitches on both sides. So make sure you're taking it through the stitches on both sides and just single crochet all the way across. So line the stitches up and single crochet. And you're just gonna do this all the way across the ear. Just making sure you're matching up the stitches from both sides so it stays even. And it looks like I've got just a couple more. And then when you get to that final stitch, you'll just do a slip stitch and tie off. And then when you cut your yarn, make sure you leave it long enough so you can sew the ear onto the head. And you will be needing to make two of these. Once you've made two of them, it's time to attach the ears to the head. I've got one on here already and I've lined it up just slightly behind the center point. So just a little bit behind the center point and then off to the side, just a little bit from center. And so now we'll just add our second ear. And to do that, we're gonna line it up to where it's even with the first one, probably about a finger's width between the two. And you'll just take your yarn needle and go under a stitch in the head and through a stitch in the ear. Helps if the yarn stays in the needle. There we go. And then under a stitch in the head and through a stitch in the ear. Under a stitch in the head and through a stitch in the ear. And you'll continue to do that until you've got the ear attached. As you're doing this, you wanna give it a little bit of a curve in the back of the ear. So that way, when you're looking from it from the front, it's got that indention and curves around a little bit. So keep doing that until you've reached the end of the ear. And here I've come to the very final stitch of the ear. I'm gonna take my yarn needle and bring it to the back of the ear. So just run that under, pull nice and tight so it stays in place. And now you'll just go under a stitch and before you pull it all the way through, take your yarn needle through that loop and then pull nice and tight. And you'll just take the yarn needle and run it through the head so you can weave in that tail and then snip off the excess yarn. And there we go. The ears are now attached. The eyes will be done in two parts. So first we're going to make this black outer patch and you'll take your black yarn and you're going to chain four. So you're gonna start with a slip knot 
and then chain four. One, two, three, four. This will be done in rows. So for row one, we're going to start in the second chain from the hook and do three single crochets. So there's one, two, three. And now you'll chain one and turn your work. For row two, you're going to do three single crochets. So there's one, two, three, chain one, and turn. For row three, you're going to do one increase then one single crochet, and then one increase. And you'll chain one and turn. For rows four through seven, you're going to do five single crochets going across the row. There's one, two, three, four, five, and at the end of each row, you'll chain one and turn. So that's rows four through seven. For row eight, you're going to do one decrease, and then one single crochet, and then one decrease. And chain one and turn. For round nine, you're going to do three single crochet. So there's one, two, three. And then we're gonna chain one and turn. And then to finish this off, you're going to do single crochet all the way around the outer edge. So I'll start with these top ones here. So one single crochet in each stitch. And now we're gonna continue down along the side. So do one single crochet at the end of each of those rows. And you're just going to do this all the way around, continuing to do one single crochet at the end of each row. And then when you get down here to the bottom, you'll do your three single crochets going across here. Two, three. And then one single crochet at the end of each row going along this side until you get back to where you started. And I've just got a couple more here. And one more. There we go. Now I'm back to where I started. So you'll just slip stitch into that first single crochet you did and tie off. And when you cut your yarn, make sure you've got enough of a tail to sew this part onto the head. And go ahead and weave in that beginning tail. 
For the inner part of the eye, we're going to be using the white yarn. And you will chain five. So start with your slip knot and chain five. Here's one, two, three, four, five. And for round one, which is the only round we'll do, you're gonna begin in the second chain from the hook and do three single crochet. So there's one, two, three. In this last chain here, you're going to do three single crochets into that chain. So there's one, go back into the same spot. Here's two, and then into that same spot again. And that makes three. Now you're going to do two single crochets working along the other side of the chain. So here's one and two. And then we'll finish this round with one increase in that last stitch. So here's our increase. And then you'll just slip stitch into that first single crochet that you did and tie off. And then when you cut your yarn, leave a long enough tail to sew it on. And then make sure you weave in this beginning tail. And here we have the two parts that we need for our eye. But before we sew it together, we need to attach the safety eye. So you'll just take your safety eye, take the post, poke it through the middle of the white piece. Like so. And take the backing and place it onto the back post. And then this is just a stylus that I took the rubber tip off of. And it works really good for pushing that backing onto the safety eye. And that's on there really secure. And so it's not going to come off very easily. Now that we have the safety eye in place, I'm going to go ahead and sew the white part onto the black part. So just line what's left of that post up with the center of the black, poke it through. And now you're just going to sew this white piece in place. So just go under a stitch in the black part and then up through a stitch in the white. And then you can just move to the next stitch and go through both the white and the black and come back up, making sure you're going through both the white part and the black part. Move to the next stitch and come back up, just catching the outer stitch of the white. And you'll just keep working your way around until you've gotten back to where you started. So I think I've just got a couple more stitches here. And I'm back to where I started. I'm going to go through that original stitch there and then just bring it all the way through the black and you can tie off back here so just flip it over and go under one of the black stitches and before you pull that all the way through you're going to take your needle through the loop 
and that'll make your knot. And then just kind of run the tail under a couple of the black stitches just to make sure you've got that tail secure, which is a lot easier if the yarn stays in the needle. There we go. And now we'll just snip off the excess yarn. And now that we've got this eye put together, make sure you've made two of them. Now we're ready to attach it to the head. And I've already got this one on there, so I'll just add this one. I'm going to line them up. Make sure you go up high enough so you have room for the muzzle and the mouth to go on. And so just to attach this, you're gonna go under a stitch in the head and up through a stitch in the eye. And then go down to the next stitch, go under a stitch in the head and up through a stitch in the eye. And then go through that next stitch and under a stitch in the head and up through the stitch in the eye. And you'll continue to do this all the way around until you get back to where you started. And here I've come all the way around. So now we're just going to take the needle and go under a stitch. And before pulling it all the way through, take it through that loop, pull nice and tight. That'll make your knot and then just tuck this tail inside the head. So just run your sewing needle through there and snip off the excess yarn. And there we have both eyes are attached. For the muzzle, we're going to be using the white yarn and you'll begin with a slip knot and then do a chain five. So here's one, two, three, four, five, and place your stitch marker. For round one, you're going to begin in the second chain from the hook and do three single crochet. So here's one, two, three. Now you're going to do three single crochet in this last stitch here. So here's one, go back into the same stitch. Here's two, and into that same stitch, and that makes three. Now you're going to do two single crochets working along the other side of the chain. And here's one, two, and in this last stitch, do one increase. Oops. And now you can move your stitch marker. And at this point, you should have 10 stitches. For round two, we're going to begin with one increase, followed by two single crochet, one, two. Now you're going to do three increases. There's one, two, three. Now you'll do two single crochet, one, two, and two increases. There's one and two. 
And that brings you to the end of the round. And at this point, you should have 16 stitches. For round three, you're going to begin with one single crochet, then do one increase, Next, you'll do two single crochet, one, two. Now you're going to do a repeating sequence of one single crochet and one increase, and you're going to do that three times. There's one, increase, one, increase, And one increase. Now you'll do two single crochet. One, two. And next you'll do the repeating sequence of one single crochet and one increase. And you're going to do that two times. So here's one single crochet, one increase one single crochet, one increase. And that brings us to the end of this round. And at this point, you should have a total of 22 stitches. For round four, you're going to just do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And once you come to the end of this round, you should still have 22 stitches. For round five, you're going to begin with two single crochet, then do one increase, next you're going to do two single crochet, and now you're going to do a repeating sequence of two single crochet and one increase and you're going to do that three times. So here's one, two, increase, one, two, increase, one, two, increase. Next, you're going to do two single crochet. There's one, two. And now you're going to do the repeating sequence of two single crochet and one increase. And you're going to do that two times. There's one, two, increase. One, two, increase. And that brings you to the end of this round. And at this point, you should have 28 stitches. For round six, you're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And once you come to the end of this round, you should still have 28 stitches. And here I've come to the end of round six. I'm going to remove that stitch marker. And now just slip stitch into the next stitch and tie off. And then when you cut your yarn, make sure you've got enough of a tail to sew it onto the head. There we go. And then don't forget to weave in that beginning tail. To attach the muzzle, I'm going to put a little bit of stuffing inside. You can always add more right before you close up. I'm going to line it up just below the eyes, slightly overlapping the black part there. And now you'll just take your yarn needle, go under a stitch in the head, 
just like we did with the eyes, and then up through a stitch in the muzzle, and then under a stitch in the head, and up through the stitch in the muzzle. And you'll continue to do this all the way around until you get back to where you started. And here I'm back to where I started. I added some more stuffing before I closed it up completely. And now I'm just gonna go under a stitch, maybe, there we go. And before pulling it all the way through, take the yarn needle through that loop and tie your knot. And then just poke the needle through the head. Be careful that you're not going through this open space. So just stay on the outer stuffing part. And snip off the excess. And there we go. Our muzzle is now attached. For the nose, we'll be using the black yarn, and you're going to begin by doing a chain of five. There's one, two, three, four, five. Now working in the second chain from the hook, you'll do three single crochets going across the chain. There's one, two, three. In this last chain, you'll do three single crochets. So there's one, go back into that same stitch. Here's two, and back into that same stitch. That makes three. Now you're going to do two single crochets working across the other side of the chain. Here's one, two, and then in that last stitch, you'll do one increase. And then just slip stitch into that first single crochet that you did and tie off. And then give yourself a long enough tail to sew the nose onto the muzzle. And of course, make sure you weave in that beginning tail. When you're ready to attach the nose, you'll thread your yarn needle, and then we're just going to place it a few rows up from the center line. So there's our center line. We're gonna come up a couple rows, and that looks about right for the placement. So I'm gonna hold that in place. And then take the yarn needle under a stitch in the muzzle and up through a stitch in the nose and then through a stitch in the muzzle and up through a stitch in the nose and you'll do this all the way around until you get back to where you started and here I've come all the way around back to where I started you want to make sure you got that nose on straight before you tie off. And then you'll just go under a stitch and run the needle through that loop before you pull it tight. And then once you've got that pulled tight, you can run your needle through the head. Again, make sure you're not going all the way into this pocket. and then snip off the excess yarn and that pops right back inside. And there we go, we've added the nose. For the mouth, we'll be using the white yarn and you'll begin with a magic circle. Chain one to secure your yarn and then for round one, you're going to do six single crochet into that magic circle. There's three, four, five, six. Grab 
the tail, give it a pull, and then place your stitch marker. And at this point, you should have six stitches. For round two, you're going to do one increase in each stitch all the way around. And once you come to the end of this round, you should have a total of 12 stitches. For round three, you're going to do a repeating sequence of one single crochet and one increase. And you're going to repeat that all the way around. One single crochet, one increase, Continue to repeat this until you've reached the end of the round, at which point you should have 18 stitches. And here I've come to the end of round three. I did go ahead and weave in that beginning tail. Now we're going to remove the stitch marker and fold this in half. You know, line up the stitches and now you're going to single crochet through both sides of the fold. So make sure you're going through both stitches. And now you're just going to single crochet, going all the way across, making sure you go through both stitches. Making sure you line up the stitches so they all match up and it stays even. And just a couple more. This last one can be a little tricky because we're getting down to that fold. And then one final slip stitch at the very end and tie off. And then when you cut your yarn, make sure you're leaving a long enough tail to sew it onto the head. When you're ready to sew the mouth on, you're gonna thread your yarn needle. And we're going to take this curved part where we did our single crochets and line that up at the base of the muzzle. So it's going to lay across the bottom of the muzzle And just to make sure I stay centered, I like to go through all the way across for that first stitch. Bring that in. And then grab this stitch way over here with my yarn. And this way I can make sure I've got it centered. And now you're just going to go under a stitch in the head and up through a stitch in the muzzle. Just following that one edge and keep it lined up with the base of the muzzle. So through a stitch in the head, up through a stitch in the muzzle trying to keep it nice and straight. And I've come almost to the end here. Go through one more stitch. And make sure I stayed centered before I tie off. And so now to tie off, you'll just go under one of the stitches and before you pull it all the way through take your yarn needle through that loop that'll make your knot and then just run your needle through the head and then snip off the excess yarn and then 
And there we go. Let's turn this over. And now the mouth has been attached. And there it is, the top to this Panda Ring Stacker. And you can find the link to the video showing you how to do the post and rings down in the description box. And here we go, I've put the Panda Topper onto the Ring Stacker. And as I said, you can find the link for the post and rings down in the description box.